from the KATC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, hopefully you like the mild weather because you're going to need to get used to it. 79 degrees the high today, but just check this out. Two years ago, you may remember it. It was the last winter storm in Acadiana. We had an ice storm. We had a couple of rounds of some snow and some ice and some slippery conditions and a record low of 22 on this date. Now, winter weather lovers, your weekend is coming after that. We don't see a whole lot of cold weather, so we'll get to that in just a bit. Let's take a look, though, at the pressing matter at hand, and that's that upper level low that's rolling out of the Rockies right now. That's going to energize and is already energizing the subtropical jet stream. And a lot of times folks will say, oh, look at this dry air. Nothing's going to happen in here. And then you see thunderstorms erupting. You don't need a whole lot of moisture. You just need the right jet stream dynamics, the nose of the jet coming here, diffluence here, and here comes more moisture you're coming in from the Pacific is going to get caught up in the subtropical jet stream and help contribute to our rainfall. And we'll show you that coming up in just a bit. Snow on the northwestern flank of this system and severe weather breaking out across uh, the southeastern part. And these are all the warnings going mostly winter warnings off to the north. High wind warnings back to the, into West Texas. Severe thunderstorm watch. This one in effect till 3 a.m. Tornado watch just issued for northern Louisiana all the way up through western Tennessee till 5 a.m. And we might see a watch here in our part of the world before all is said and done. As we kind of zoom on in, uh, we have a tornado warning for this cell that is just near the McAllister area. It's switching over to a severe thunderstorm warning, so hopefully no tornado there. Another uh, uh, severe thunderstorm warning farther to the south and all the way up through uh, the Tulsa area. So uh, some busy weather in Oklahoma this evening. For us, it's just cloud cover and breezy south winds. And checking the local Doppler radars, all the action pretty much developing off to our north and we're not seeing a whole lot close to home. So relatively quiet at least till about four or five in the morning and then by six, seven in the morning showers will be developing per the latest her model. So it's going to be breezy and mild overnight tonight. Temperatures stay most part in the lower 70s. You see all these little showers, Marcel. This is what I was talking about. You're going to have a hard time on your run tomorrow with these showers in the area and then they turn into thunderstorms by eight, nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, then there could be a severe a legitimate severe weather threat from about eight in the morning till about two in the afternoon. Some of these storms could become supercells. Uh, some of the uh, parameters for tornadoes are looking better in isolated spots, so we'll have to watch that. Storms begin to progress off to the east into the afternoon, and the cool front actually undercuts the severe weather dynamics. So our window for severe weather from about eight in the morning till about two in the afternoon. Then we'll see lingering showers through tomorrow evening, maybe even a rumble of thunder but won't be severe down towards St. Mary Parish at this time. And then just plain old breezy and cold temperatures getting down into the 30s. Wind chills upper 20s to lower 30s for Friday morning. So there's your winter temperature regime coming in. So the severe weather risk is enhanced off to the north and east of us. And as I told you last night, I thought we'd see that uh, slight risk get extended back to I-10. We might see this expand a little bit farther to the west tomorrow morning. Same with the enhanced risk. So we'll keep an eye on that. Thunderstorms may produce damaging winds and or an isolated tornado, especially Lafayette on eastward. We'll say central and eastern portions of Acadiana, but we'll have to wait and see. Plenty of storm energy here ahead of the front and as you get into eastern Louisiana. So this is what we look for, uh, especially here in Lafayette. The Lafayette numbers, once you get uh, that energy over 2,000, uh, it's uh, pretty high and we'll have to watch uh, that energy for those storms. In addition to that, are we going to see tornadoes? Well, there is some potential. Look at this, a pretty large large area of an enhanced risk of maybe some spinning uh, tornadoes or uh, cells that could spin up tornadoes. Let's put it that way. So uh, the risk will be greatest per usual eastern Miss eastern Louisiana into southwestern Mississippi. As for rainfall, some of us get a tenth of an inch, others a half an inch. I would count on between a half an inch and an inch and isolated spots catching one to two. And of course, the temperatures staying mild overnight tonight and then chilling out as we go into the 10 day forecast. So mild overnight tonight, temperatures hugging near 70 degrees. Then for tomorrow, it's going to get stormy starting around 8 o'clock in the morning and continuing as we head into the afternoon hour. Some locally heavy downpours, one to two inches possible for some. And by tomorrow evening, things will begin to quiet down. So that is the good news there. As we move into the 10 day forecast, a shot of winter in for the weekend. But by Sunday afternoon, it starts to warm up. And look at this spring in full swing. 
all of next week with highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s and Mardi Gras looking good so far. That's it for weather for now. We're going to have more coming up right after the break.